um hey youtube um um this is windows 8 um this is the final version the uh, windows 8 pro windows 8 pro rtm so it's built 9200 um here it says microsoft windows version 6.2 build 9200 to the 2012 2012 microsoft corporation all right you're sure. So here it is. This is the final version of Windows 8. Um, it's um, it doesn't have a lot of changes, but um, it fixes many bugs, and I think it added more apps to the um to the operating system. So let's start with the desktop. Desktop is kind of neat. It has a um, bunch of themes. It has the Windows default. Uh, sorry, about this Windows default. It has the Earth and flowers right here. This high contrast white. So that's it for the themes. For the sound, um, here you can see. I think you can hear it. Um, the sound here. Um, the B, uh, the, I mean, the sys speaker sound is now different. Um, the sounds, uh, here it is. It sound more peaceful than the other version of Windows. So, the cursor. So, if you're a power user, you, you will notice the cursor is different now. So, Let's go to the control panel. Oh, control panel here. Say cursors. Say cursors. Cursors. Cursor. Cur Sorry about this, guys. Cursor. So here, mouse. So here, it it changed to the metro style of the the cursor. So now it is the blue, blue circle that's um um spinning now. Um, in the last version of Windows, it's got it's the color green, I think, or aqua or something. Um, now it's blue, and now you will see the control panel I icons uh, category change to the uh, system and security icon changed but the rest of it uh, didn't change much and uh, the minimize the hide and the X button is now flat like Windows 3.1 I think um, to to uh, maximize the performance I think it disabled the arrow transparency so it will give more performance boost by default and here the back and forth forward button is now different too it's like the metro style app so that's it for the desktop so let's go to start menu now start menu is um still <laughs> the same uh it's there and um it's there and you can't change it anymore but i think there's third party software that can Renable the start menu, but I like the metro start menu, so I'm not gonna mess with it. So here, you have your mail app. Oh, see, there's no app preview or something. So it's the final version. If you're gonna question it, see here, it's like the Hotmail, the online um, mean online mail mail pro. I mean, mail something by Microsoft. It's now like this. So I'm having my Gmail account on here. You can have your other accounts like Hotmail, Gmail, and my other Gmail account. So, so to add this, I mean, to add more accounts, just right click on the empty part, uh, like here. Then, I mean, um. Uh, uh, put your cursor to the bottom right corner then click on settings here you can um, mean 
click on accounts then you can add an account right here so that's my account so that's it um it's think turkeys the color i think it's great um the color blends in perfectly for the um gmail so to close this app just um drag your cursor to the upper hand corner then drag it i click it then then um drag it down so it closed so now we're back to the start menu so start metro start <laughs> i don't know what it so here the weather app um uh sorry for guys i'm recording so it's kind of laggy so here it's loading the weather app so i'm the philippines right now las piñas philippines um so here's the bing weather here's the forecast for the five day forecast today it's like it's it's 84 degrees right now um it's feels like 92 and here's our five day forecast um, um, and Monday, uh, 87, 82, 81, and 83. Here you can scroll, scroll to the right for more, more, more details. Here you have an average high, average low, the record high, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. If I still remember that, um, uh, I still remember that high in the Philippines, 102 degrees, and the lowest. Oh man, I I think this is I didn't I didn't reach this. Um, the record low in the Philippines is 59 degrees. So imagine our the Philippines weather now. The average low is now 78 compared to 59 degrees in 2000. <laughs> Global warming, indeed. <laughs> so I'm gonna exit this again. So here's the people's app. This is when you um log into your Facebook account. So when I log into my f Facebook account, um, that's my son. I think I'm a brother. So if you um connect your um log into your hotmail account i think it will it will something will show up here you can connect to other accounts right click again into the empty part i mean dra drag to your cursor to the right hand side click on settings again and you can add more accounts here again so you can add a facebook twitter so it will sync all your your friends so you can chat and message each other so that's great for me so drag it down again here's the metro internet explorer i'm not gonna mess with it but the here the Me internet explorer 10 now the rtm version um now includes flash support so it now supports flash for youtube so you can play now YouTube videos in the Internet Explorer Metro style. Here's the Windows Store. Here's the messaging app. As I said earlier, um, you can you can sync all your photos and I mean sync all your contacts here in Facebook or Twitter, and you can chat here. So here's the list of my friends. Um, so that's it. So when someone message you, it will show a banner up here, and it will show the chats and something. Here's the maps app. Um, maps you can enable your location. So what? SkyDrive. Here's the online free online service by Microsoft, but I haven't configured it yet. Here's our calendar app. I'm not gonna mess with it app, but here it will, it will sync the um as I said it will sync all your Facebook Facebook contacts 
birthdays. So in the calendar, you can it will sing all your birthdays. So today, no no birthdays, but tomorrow here's the birthdays for tomorrow. So that's kind of handy. Here uh, news, uh, the latest news for today, but not gonna not gonna I mean not gonna configure it here's photos um i haven't um messed with it yet but um it will sync all your pictures from skydrive facebook here facebook flickr and other devices so here gonna um, here's the weather, I mean, installer maps. Here's the news app. Show you a bunch of news and a bunch of stuff. Here are the top stories. Um, blah blah blah. I'm not interested, so close that. Here are the Bing. I think this is the metro style search engine for. Windows. Yes, it's a metro style version of search of the search engine. So that's kind of handy. Here's games. If you if you have Xbox Live account, you can play. I think here's camera. Here a webcam, but not gonna do that now. Music here. This is my favorite app in Windows. So here's the music app. Well, here's the Xbox Music. You can purchase it. Here's the music store and the most popular, the Call Me Maybe, um, Philip Phillips, and Florida. Here's a bunch of musics. <laughs> One Direction. I didn't know that I have that. I'm a Bruno Mars, LMFAO, and find something with that. Uh, videos or videos. So that's kind of it. Um, um, one thing, I'm gonna, uh, the, I'm gonna show you the snap, snap feature, like the arrow snap, but it's called Metro Snap, I think. Metro Snap, I think, in Windows 8. So, gonna. So, to um, snap apps, and go to the upper left corner. Um, sorry for about that. Upper right corner, I left corner, then. Um, um, hover down, then. Click your wanted app, then click it. Um, snap it to the right or left if you want to. So that's it. I'm gonna find something to play, and then that's it. Um, thank you for checking out my Windows 8 RGM review. I think, and please like this video, share, comment, um, subscribe if you haven't to. And thanks for watching.